Okay, after uh, a whole lot of requests for what am I doing with the cracky beds I built, uh, I've got one, one of them filled. Uh, that one's still yet to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but um, it's kind of hot now for a lot of the stuff that really could be growing in there. Uh, I am growing this lettuce I believe that's iceberg uh, not sure I have to check it out. I think it's iceberg I'm also growing this is kale and I have a couple cucumbers I'm gonna run up and vine across the rail there we'll just see how it does I've got a lot of other things going in here I put cucumbers and this, I had to go get some more perlite. Uh, we ran out, but um, I've got some cucumbers here, here, here. These are all diva. Those are squash. That's, um, I believe those are yellow squash, to be honest with you. Uh, it may be zucchini. Daniel put them in there. And that's a, a Parks Whopper uh, tomato. Still got a lot of things I'm still putting out in the garden. Starter plants up here. That back there is a ginormous raised bed plants. Those ginormous raised bed plants are squash. Those leaves are enormous. I actually have some squash, but just to see the size of that leaf, I mean, that's just the point of it. But I have some squash plants in here, a yellow one there, and there's some zucchini back here, if I can get to it, right there. The bees are coming in through the side and pollinating, so not having to do a whole lot of pollinating by hand. Cantaloupe are just really starting to take off. The big deal is that right there I have set up the irrigation for um, automatic watering of these plants here I figured I won't walk in between there at least until I figure out a different way maybe to do that I might run it overhead eventually and uh, have it come down but that'll work for now it's on it's on a timer over here I've got it um, set to run uh, twice a day for about 15 minutes. It's on a emitter, um, but I've got it set up on this timer here. I've also got to run another line over down to feed my uh, raised beds all along through there. But that's a quick update. Uh, I was able to harvest the largest broccoli I've ever harvested out of my garden. We ate that night before last, and I think I got a video of that. I'll put that on here as well. God bless. Y'all go play in the dirt. It's a quick video. I'm doing a little harvesting because I think I better uh, before this starts going to seed. That, I know this isn't a lot to some people, but this is the biggest head of broccoli I have ever grown. I've got several small ones in there. Uh, this one is obviously ready to go and I'm going to get him. So um, without further ado, there he is. And I'm carrying this rascal in. I'm going to cook it up myself. Uh, nobody else is home. Um, so they're out of luck. This is the rest of the garden. I've got the rest of uh, my pinto beans in. They're over there on the other side of the uh, pole beans. Um, let me see if I can zoom in for you. Right there. And the next two, the next one over, you can see both rows. God bless. Go play in some dirt. Getting ready to get a little rain here. 
So I'll be playing in some mud. Let me get back out there. There you go. I'll be playing in some mud if I don't get in the house. God bless.